Hey, it's Sean with Sean's DIY and Reviews and I did a video explaining how I'm going to do my bog filter and now I'm actually going to do the video doing it. So if you want to see the explanation, go ahead and check that one up in the description below. I put it and then I'll also put a link in a few seconds up top and then I'll show you how I do this. So essentially I got a big bucket here, drilled a hole here. I got to get a better fitting for here and, uh, you know, kind of seal all around this, but at least I got a fitting on my bucket. And I'm gonna have my bucket right here. And I'm gonna put, you can see how this is uh, already filled up, which is not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our tube that's coming from the pond, and we're gonna put that toward the bottom here. So that's gonna go right there. And you see how our uh, dirty water is gonna go there. And the idea is sediment and rock is gonna keep that dirt down and not allow it to go back to the pond. So that's the idea of the, pond, of the filter here. So we're gonna start step one, put our hose in there, being that we already have it running. Step two, we're gonna fill this with some rock. Okay. All right, so I'm filling it with my pea gravel. and we don't want it to go back in. See how dirty that and sludgy that is after one week? So this is the dirt and sludge that we've been collecting out of the bottom of the pond, as you can see. And when it's gonna come up through this amount of water over time, you're gonna see that water rise. Then this sludge will not be returning to the pond. It'll be staying in our bucket there and we drain that out every so often. So for now, I don't wanna put this dirty water back into the pond. So what I'm gonna do is just dump it out over on the side. And I'm gonna rinse out this gravel and put more of it into my bog filter. All right, so the more gravel we have in here up to a certain point, the more you're going to have filtration to allow it to come up through here. This is just some of the dirt you're seeing from the rock. But over time, this is going to all clean, clear out to be clear. And then we'll be putting clean water back into the pond. And I'll come back in a day or so and show you how that looks. But as you can see, we're getting all this sludge just from a week of having a, a small, short bog filter that didn't do that much. But this should definitely allow the dirt to sit at the bottom and the, all this to kind of settle down into you know six inches or a foot of rock and allow the clean water to come up and into the back into the pond I also want to take a few reference points for day one so as you can see here the water here is cloudy in the bog filter part the water is starting to clear up here a little bit I did put a couple flushed a couple um, five gallon buckets of water through here. So it's clearing it out a little bit. And then look at here, so you get a sense of where the pond is. Definitely quite green. And you'll be able to see where the pond is compared to what it'll be in a couple days. So we'll try it out in a couple days and see where we're at. Okay, so here we are about two weeks later. And this is the situation. I got a couple plants to go in here, which are growing pretty nicely. You'll see a little bit of the green sludge still here. What I would do when I'm gonna redo this is put some larger rocks on the bottom. Then what I'll probably do uh, kind of middle of the way through is put some sponge kind of material, which I have over here and I'll show you in a second. Uh, you'll see over here where I have the sponge material right there. The water's coming out of here and hitting that sponge material. So that's one layer of filtration. You can see some of the stuff that's accumulating there. And then over here, I have another piece of green sponge, which again is filtering out some of the material there. And you can see the water coming out of there looks pretty clean. And I can see down probably, uh, you know, three, three or four inches right here. I can see rocks over there, which I was not able to see before it's coming out much clearer. I'll also turn on that water over there so you can kind of see how clear that is. 
And then if I come over here, this is no other treatments I've done here. Uh, you can see all the rocks right in this area here, which again, you couldn't see before. So it's really hot too. It's like 100 degrees out almost. And it's just been clearing up little by little, which is nice. And I just turned the water on over there. And you can see it's coming out pretty clear. Up close, there's the color of the water coming out. Whereas before it used to be brown. It, it looks pretty close to clear water. It is a little tint to it, but really not bad at all. And uh, two weeks, this size pond, for that to be doing what it's doing, I would say this is a success. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And thank you so much for watching the video. Please give a thumbs up, and I hope I earn you as a subscriber. On this channel, I do a lot of DIY around the house type of projects, as well as um, electronics reviews and obviously some one-off things like this. People seem to like the pond type of stuff. So hopefully this was interesting to you, and thanks again. See you in the next video.